Hey guys, Confirmator, I'm here back with a crypto market update, kind of going through everything, you know, Bitcoin, Ethereum, BNB, Seifu, uh, Link, AVAX, all the good stuff. I want to say thank you guys for tuning in and giving me the time of day. Appreciate all you guys who are, you know, subscribed to the channel. Definitely, if you are not subscribed, definitely do if you like the content. And I want to say thank you to all my channel members. You guys are absolutely awesome. But all right, let's get ourselves into the market analysis, seeing what's going on and kind of assess the week going forward because today is monday my dudes well you know you, you you get it let's see so i want to start off with the dji see how we're doing here dji coming up to what the 618 here at thirty three thousand seven hundred and eighteen dollars you can see we're coming up to the apex of our move here you know this is when we were chilling around here down to here what was this uh, middle the, the first week of january we had drawn this uh trend and you know we're starting to break out of it towards the end here it looks, looks like you know we, we we've been trying the trend out of it getting up to 702 here but i'm definitely intrigued to wind up seeing if this winds up playing out in this direction because if it were to do this it'll be doing what most of the crypto market has done and getting back to the 786 region and you know starting to retest for further appreciation um we definitely need to see this happen the only problem that we see is that typically gold does not go you know metals precious metals does not go with the stock market usually they oppose each other so we're in a very interesting time frame at the moment because as you can see on the screen here gold is at the 702 right now they're both at the very very critical spot so if we even go back to the dji you can see we're at just as critical as a spot if we if we break within the next so by it looks like next this week or next week um with the um the dow jones we're, we're getting back up there to the 786 702 region of really just for, for further price appreciation for it so where the confluence is which one's going to wind up happening is gold going to wind up retracing and losing it here um or or, or is the dji that, that that that's the problem if we see the the golds get stomped out here and start to come back down i would assume that the dji is going to wind up breaking to the upside because they do usually do not run in tandem <laughs> So it's definitely a uh, a very confluenced area of, of thought. You know, you have the, the, these two very interesting things happening at the same time. Um, but at least in this retracement of the DJI, you know, we're seeing uh, Bitcoin over here. We're at twenty three thousand. You know, we're we're in you know we're in the middle of no man's land. And we we were talking about this. I was telling you guys about this. Um, if we were going to get ourselves above the one, we we're kind of get it meander in here and go off of the short term time period of just, you know, the beginning of the year chart, just about here. Um, not even really. Yeah, I say the beginning of the year chart. Yeah. Um, and we need to get up here to the twenty three thousand four hundred and twenty seven and up here to about twenty four thousand. And this one's about twenty five thousand. I have been in the belief that if this happens, you know, we're seeing twenty five thousand because we have just this right here is our next target and then we'll just hit that full extension and that might be the issue it's like if we do hit the full extension and come back down to support here on the uh, 21,312 and then wind up kind of creating a sort of pattern that winds up drawing itself out because this is a four hour but say if we were to do this let me get rid of it you know wind up saying do something more like this and draw ourselves out for a while do something more like you know like this and starting to neander its way across until april or march but you know sorry april or may um that is definitely on the table and I'm, I'm definitely intrigued to see what happens with that but that's typically what we would see out of this sort of um breakout is you know then a you know double top pattern coming out and then you know seeing us so you know you see it like this and you see a double top and then it would come back down you know and form a line right here or say it comes back up to the top here comes back down to support and it hits back up and then comes back down and then winds up coming sideways into this pennant that's something we could look forward to or you know not look forward to but look at in the future for and that's definitely like you know, on the table for what i'm looking for something sort of like this hitting up here to the, that full twenty five thousand dollars maybe uh consolidating a little bit over time and then our big move comes out because then we have this large you know leg here and then you wind up using the leg here um on the bottom side to here and then 
you'd wind up grabbing it and then you'd have your next target there right back above or you know some people like to use the actual you know the, the length of the flag which would be right here to here right there and it would be up there to that 30,000 price that we were looking for you know where Bitcoin had originally had been trending for a while before our huge fall uh, down <laughs> into the, the 17,000 Alex you see this happened in like days kind of crazy right but you know this is what I'm looking for obviously this isn't spoken for you know this definitely could easily be invalidated you know we could wind up hitting our head at this resistance at the 618 here well, sorry 1618 right here and then wind up rejecting back down here to the 702 or the 618 region which would then just kind of have us neander for even longer I would assume into the later half of the year um, but we need to see how Bitcoin plays out with this you know it's definitely pushing its way upwards um, and it has been reacting well and as you can see we you know we had this little chart that we were kind of going off of before this is like a, we were projecting it getting up to around this 23 4 27 just about and you know it's been holding a 20 day moving average so maybe if you want to tailor it a little bit more um, could do something more like this and you can go across the top like that I would say just right here and you still see it still comes out to Wednesday and that target is still the same target so this week the target for 24 sorry 23 500 to 25,000 is in the cards or you're gonna wind up getting a retracement back down to the 50-day moving average right about here which is still on the 1618 but as you can see it's still making higher highs so I said higher lows but you know condensing with the higher the lower highs <laughs> it's always a tongue twister to say that but all right so now you get to you get to just on on that right now so let's go over to ethereum so ethereum starting to break down okay so we get a target this is what we were thinking about our target right so look at that to the t to the t pretty much you know within within about 20 bucks that's that's, that's not terrible for going off of this but you know we i was told telling you guys to you know i was looking out for the one fib at the 16 12 and what would typically happen is you get down below you have the liquidity grab down to that 786 so if you're day trading or waiting at that point you know you're kind of waiting to see how that wavers if it doesn't hold because i'm sure that the 15 minute was probably very uh um troublesome let's see yeah it was just it was just it's just a 15 minute coming right down to the trend line here oh wow <laughs> so it lines up with the trend line that we had made over here uh in on the 18th and 19th yeah th this trend line across it came right down to support so as you can see that was the next line of support but then quickly wicked down to the 786 came right back into the target so you know e there's a lot of targets to look for on stuff like this and seeing if it'll hold for continuation but as you can see, um, it did, it's, it's still holding well to one. So now you're in this formation. Technically, I would do something more sort of like this because, you know, yeah, could, could you do these three wicks like that? You could do it like that and off the top. And you could do it from the first time it touched right here. Um, I'd be looking at a target for Ethereum. Uh, looks like by the end of the week, getting up to around $17,000, sorry, 17, $1,700 getting a retesting this one's uh, 1618 and trying to get a breakout or you're going to see it fall and get back down to that, uh, that, that 618 which is around that region uh, of breakout right here and uh, obviously if it doesn't wind up holding that region coming back down here to the you know fifteen thousand sorry fifteen hundred dollar price mark obviously it's 132 dollars away I wouldn't say it happened immediately but th this this is what we're looking for and you can see the RSI down here everything is it's starting to cross so going back up so you know perhaps on the other side of the of, of the token you'd be seeing uh, higher price action but I would definitely uh, watch this uh, 20 day moving average as well as this uh, with one fib level uh, I would just be kind of watching uh, how it plays out in this uh, this uh, symmetrical triangle for if it's uh, you know typically out of this formation they're a little bit more to the upside than the downside but you know anything is sentiment based so if tomorrow bad news comes out obviously the, the market will follow with it this is typically how it works but BNB BNB breaking out look at that to the target we were thinking literally at the T we were talking about this we were literally like last night we were saying that around this time tomorrow 
if I, at this time today, we'd be seeing some sort of breakout, and you can see up here to the, about the 116, you know, right now we're on 11, but we were saying about 316, and we were saying at the latest, if it wanted to do it, it would be Monday next week, but you can see out of this um, triangle that has formed, we were kind of expecting an earlier breakout of hitting around that 316, and uh, it, it it's it's pushing there, and as you can see, there, there is a resistance here at about 314, um, but this previous high made on this uh, four-hour candle on Sunday was that um, the high of 311.6, and we're at 312 right now, so we're actually getting past it. So the next resistance is going to be sitting here around that 314 and then that 316. Uh, but if it is able to get through that 316, we're seeing the upper upper end of the trend line here around that you know uh, 327 to uh, 3 sorry 332 which is actually that 1618 target so i would expect if it were it would maybe wick to here uh get caught below it and probably come back down for a retest on top of this if it wants to keep some sort of continuation that's typically what you'd want to see you'd want to see it break through here wick wick up hold here for support or you know hold right on top of this for support um but one of those two but looks like bnb is making its way you know anyone who got into this last week <laughs> you you're certainly up quite a percentage at the moment um and you've bought a 288 i mean you bought five of them you know you're you're up you're up a little bit so bnb is making some headway i heard someone talking about shiba is shiba doing anything crazy i mean no <laughs> We, we guessed this to a T, didn't, didn't I? November, yeah. So we can do the high from over here. I would say from this one right here, the candle body wick. Go here to the bottom wick here. Now it doesn't really work for Shiba. Let's do the top here. All right, the top works a little bit better. Okay, so with this one, we have to go with the top of the wicks because it looks like that is a little bit more um, suitable for it. But you can see Shiba's in the floor. Seems like no one really wants. No, no one's really buying and selling this thing like like they used to. Super far below moving averages, even on the four hour. Um, let's see if I go to the two hour. If I, if anything's in any more lucrative, I mean, Shiba just needs to get it, it, this TA. Let's see. It's crashed. It double bottoms. I mean, I would assume that this would be a low set in for it. Just give me one moment. So let's added this to the chart real quick. I needed to find it. But as you can see at a Shiba, you know, you had a one, two, three, four, five to the bottom, you know, the, the, the five coming below the three, and then you have your capitulation to the side, like right here, you have your capitulation to the side, and we can do it like this. And then you have your large breakout, and then you have your ABC correction out of there. So it looks to me like, for me, I would say that Shiba Inu has come to some sort of bottom here at the seven, six, four especially since the RSI is starting to creep back up and it's starting to get itself around the more positive side. Um, I would like to say it, but never exercise caution. Uh, definitely, definitely just do your own due diligence because you can see here it's coming in for that double bottom. Um, if it were to push any lower, I mean, it's, it's, it's basically there um, within, let's see how much, about 3 to 6% right there but otherwise this would be the bottom that i would be seeing for obviously don't quote me on that but this is what i'm looking at but it, it, it's definitely really far from falling from grace i mean it was sitting up there about the three was it four zero three three and it's sitting down here at about five zero seven eight so it's, it's got it's got a little way but otherwise i hope you guys are having a good morning afternoon evening wherever you are i hope that this helps you Guess the rest of the market, you know, this is XRP. Uh, I almost forgot about XRP's breakout, you know, because we were we were talking about this uh, yesterday uh, in Sunday night's video. We were talking about getting a breakout of XRP, and I said to you guys what we would be seeing around that 41, 42% price region, but I said we would get up to around the top of that trend line if we did break to the upside. And if we zoom in on a time frame here you can see that the breakout zone right here if you see put it right here was the retest for hitting it and then coming back and now we're holding it so the breakout zone is actually the holding point for support at the moment so setting you know that but 
as you can see, uh, hitting our head at top of this resistance that we've had for a very long time, all the way back here to September, and hitting again in October and again in November, all those good things. And as you can see, you know, this is what we've been going off of. So you now the next target set up there around 45, 46, and then 54. Um, but if you know, if, if we don't wind up holding this, coming back down to support on about 40 cents and six tenths, uh, otherwise. That's what I would expect for a continuation and kind of getting ourselves into uh, this little triangle right here that would last until <laughs> February. But um, otherwise, if it doesn't, if it winds up kind of meandering in here, I mean, you could, could come all the way out here till it looks like April <laughs> or May. <laughs> but hope you guys are having a good morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. Appreciate you for tuning in for the video, and I'll see you on the next video. Have a good one, guys.